So get this, right? After six Zerk for the Zerks in a row, I found a Terran player. He's a barcode, though. He's a barcode, guys. Shame. 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 I've got a feeling he's gonna make barracks on my side of the map. What if he's actually an infested Terran and he turns out to be Zerk anyway? Roddy made a video a little while ago, Rotterdam, explaining why he doesn't like barcode accounts very much. And I guess a couple other streamers have sort of started memeing about it a little bit as well. I do think he has some valid points though. Like StarCraft is already a very anonymous game. Like you already have not a, a very large sense of community. And um, yeah, like the game is kind of lonely to play, right? If you're if you're not on Twitch and you're not on Reddit and you're not on Team Liquid or any of these places, the game is kind of like kind of solo. And I don't think it really helps the latter in any way to have barcode. Like obviously there's a clan system and all that, but there's never really been a, a proper social setup in SC2. You can rename your account once a season, so there's no reason for people to play barcodes either. But yeah, some people still do. I think it's once a season anyway. All right, will I play? Will I pay the Reaper tax? My plan is no. My plan is to just skip the Reaper tax altogether. I've played enough, or I've paid enough in Texas. I'm all up to date. I had to pay a whole bunch to the tax man. Tax man was like, hey Loco, nice Twitch sub count you got there. I'm like, thanks tax man. It's like, what about I take some of that? I'm like, Mr. Tax man, please. And he took it anyway. <laughs> Reaper Tex. Not today, buddy. All right. So, guys, the time has come for this overlord to say goodbye. It's gonna fly inside of the Terran main base. And it will, it will take control of this. Now we know that there's the 7 and the 8 Hellion being produced, which is big. That's a big deal. It's a good, very important scout. Because the thing is, usually if they go for uh, the 7 and 8 Hellion, it's either going to be a mech follow-up or a Hellbat push. I already did take uh, my Bailing Nest. Donation accepted. Mr. Taxman, uh, I have Zerglings to feed. Many, many Zerglings to feed. Yeah. I didn't care, man. He sent me a letter. He's like, here, sir. This is how much you owe us. And I'm like, Mr. Taxman, please. What did I ever do to you? Nothing. Turns out he just... I don't know, guys. He just didn't like us, I guess. Sad story, man. It's one of the saddest stories I've ever told. Aha! Benchy man! Benchy, Benchy, Benchy man! So I don't know if this is mech or bio. Second Benchy, even. Yo, what up? Sick wool, man. Oh, there's a loco wool right here. <laughs> it's me, whenever I play Terran. There's always a hole in my walls. It's like StarCraft 1 all over again. Except it's actually pretty easy to do in StarCraft 2, but... For those of you unfamiliar, walling off in StarCraft 1, it's like a completely... Like, you can dedicate a study to it. 
I'm pretty sure you can get a PhD in the pathing and the way that path, like pathing works in StarCraft 1. It's stupid as- like, it's really dumb. Trying to create a wall in that game requires you to put down your structures in a very specific order and a very specific position. And the best part is, oftentimes it's like a four-player map, right? You have to know it for all four positions if, say, for example, you're playing Protoss. Otherwise, you might just die against Zerklings. You have to be super on point. Because if you're not, you just you just lose. Like, it's it's super, super unforgiving. All right, so I've been uh, spreading creep nicely. It's been going pretty well. Okay. Bailing speed is done. Oh my god! Woo! Might have to quickly go and change underwear after this game, guys. I'm sorry about that. Gonna have to take a quick little break. The connections have just been too, uh... Whew. I'm sorry, man. Sometimes I just lose control, you know? It's like he walked into it, right? Like, that was beautiful by him, honestly. It's like, here! Have some. I'm like, I don't know, man. I, uh, my parents told me very clearly not to uh, do anything. Uh, here, have some. Just take some. Your parents won't know. I'm like, oh, okay. And thus, I had my first experience with bailings. I still remember them rolling across the map through the center. At this point, I should just stop wearing underwear. Yo, guys, calm down now. It's not like we've won yet, okay? Well, I mean... <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yeah, okay, I'm gonna have to... Uh, I'll <laughs> that, was, that was so...